When I was 25, I decided I wanted to retire early. I set a specific time frame and decided I wanted to retire at 4 to 5, but I didn't know how to go about it. After a series of research on the topic and trials and errors, I finally arrived at the 10 levels of financial independence. Putting my discovery to practice helped me to retire at 47. Although I missed my target by two years, I'd have found lots of happiness in achieving the goal. Early retirement can result in lots of blessings and benefits. For one, your health will improve. This is not just a supposition, but has been backed by research. Your mental health will also improve. You would have the opportunity to do several new things, like learning a new language or visiting exotic places. I took up computer programming at age 48 after my retirement and do that as a hobby right now. You can also start a new career when you retire early. In this video, I will explain the 10 levels of financial independence. I will also show you how a family used this knowledge as leverage that helped them to retire early. I believe you will watch the video to the end to learn all about this. Meanwhile, like the video, please give a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now to the 10 levels of financial independence. I label them from level 0 to level 9. Let me do a quick run through. Level 0 is financial dependence. You are at this level when your expenses are greater than your income. That means you depend on others to pay your bills at the end of the month. Most teenagers and adults just out of college are at this level. They usually rely on their parents or take out loans to pay their bills. These could be student loans or mortgage loans. This level is called level zero because at this level, you have not started on the journey to financial independence. The next level is level one and is labeled a financial solvency level. This is when you are able to meet all your responsibilities without any help. At this level, you are just starting the financial independence journey. The lessons you learn at this level will help you later. Level two, or the financial stability level, comes next. At this level, you have some emergency funds. That means your income has risen above your expenses. Again, you are among the lucky few at this level because you are financially solvent. The next is level three, or debt freedom. Depending on your circumstances, your debt freedom varies. It could mean not having any mortgages to pay off periodically. It could mean being free of the high interest on credit card debts or paying off all your student loans. But generally, it's when no long-standing debt is eating away at your finances. After level three, it takes a little effort to move up to level four or coasting financial independence. Some people call it bars to financial independence or agency. At this level, you could decide where you want to work. You are not afraid of leaving a stressful job, even though it might be highly paid. At this point, you have saved enough that you can decide how and where you want to work. Most people at this level have worked really hard all their lives and have been frugal in their spending. They now have an investment that gives them passive income. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, which I put a lot of time and energy into, I would really appreciate it if you guys tap the like button and make sure you subscribe with notification on. And if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll drop a brand new video next week about the same topic. Now, let's get back to the video. When you reach level five, which I label the level of financial security, your cash flow from all your investments is so large that it can satisfy your annual basic survival expenses. Now, survival expenses are different from living expenses. You spend survival expenses on necessities like food, water, shelter, transportation, and clothing. Living expenses include survival and your wants, like Netflix, subscriptions, the internet, eating out, and other entertainment. At level 5, you could lose your job, and you'd not be bothered. This is the level where you have peace of mind. I don't advise you to retire at this level yet, but this is an essential level in the financial independence journey. Level 6 is labeled a financial flexibility level. It's similar to the financial security of level 5, but different in that your current cash flow from your investments and net income can sustain you long term. Many experts say that this is when you have saved more than 12 and a half times your current expenses. I think it would be better to follow the 4% retirement rule in this case. According to the 4% rule, 
Retirees should withdraw only 4% of their retirement savings for their life expectancy. If you can follow this rule, you have arrived at level 6. Significantly when that 4% can sustain your living expenses, no matter the state of the economy. When the economy is good, you spend more. When it is terrible or bearish, you spend less. I'd appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit the like button. Your support will enable me to continue producing such useful content. If you have already liked my video and subscribed to my channel, that's awesome. Thank you. Now, let's get back to the video. The next level is financial independence. At this level, you have saved roughly 25 times your annual expenses. Many experts in personal finance stop at this level because this amount will be enough for you to retire safely. So, they believe that one has achieved financial independence at this level. But I discovered other levels that are higher up the ladder than financial independence. Level 8, or financial freedom, encompasses the financial independence of level 7 and then achieving life goals. We all have different life goals. Some want to travel around the world, while others want to be able to take a vacation occasionally. We all have dreams, and at level 8, you can achieve those dreams without worrying about money. At this level, your investment's cash flow helps you achieve your life goals while having financial independence. The last level, or level 9, is financial abundance. This is when the cash flow from your investment surpasses whatever amount you would ever need after satisfying your life goals. The amount of cash flow from investment at this level differs for each person. I like to make mine three times your amount at the financial freedom level. Very few people achieve this level. But if you do, you have reached the summit of financial independence. So basically, these are the 10 levels of financial independence. Many people who arrive at level 7 can retire early, but I wait until level 9 before retiring at 47. I help many people use these 10 levels to plan early retirement. Let me illustrate an example with a couple I helped, Daniel and Alexandra. When Daniel and Alexandra approached me to help them on their financial independence journey, I asked them to tell me the state of their financial life. They were earning $20 an hour and working full-time. We calculated how much they made in a year, reaching $90,000. Then they had mortgages of $20,000 each, and Daniel had a student loan of $15,000. I knew straight away that they were at level zero. I set a short-term goal of going to level two within three months with them. To do this, they had to watch their expenses, especially their living expenses, and increase their income. First, I tasked them with creating a budget and sticking to it. Then I emphasized the benefits of living frugally or minimalistically while they improved their levels. Daniel started doing overtime at his place of work, and the couple cut down on unnecessary expenses like Netflix. With my coaching, they achieved level two financial stability in two months. After that, Alexandra decided to start tutoring online. She was skilled at teaching music lessons. Eventually, four months after that, they were close to reaching level three of debt freedom. Then they had a relapse. Daniel lost his job which took them to level one of financial solvency. I told the couple to keep it up and keep working on it. Within three months, Daniel had another job, and within a month, they had started paying off their mortgages and student loans. A year after they met me, the couple were at level three of debt freedom. They earned $130,000 a year and had completely paid off their mortgages and student loans. I noticed that they were not consistent in decreasing their spending. Some months their living expenses would be $90,000, while others would be $50,000. I emphasized the value of making sacrifices. While their income was increasing, their debt had to decrease. Otherwise, they would face lifestyle inflation. Eventually, they succeeded in reducing some expenses. Then we started working on investments. I introduced them to an investment guru who helped channel their savings into viable investments. To cut a long story short, they had achieved financial security within three years. Their investments could pay for their annual expenses. That was when they had a great measure of peace of mind. They started thanking me for what I had done for them. But I was not finished. The goal was for them to retire early. Now, if you are still watching this part of the video, please leave a comment down below to let me know that you are still watching. Share your opinions in the comment section. I would love to hear them. Now, 
Let's get back to the video. Daniel got a higher paying job five years later, but he turned it down. Instead, he said he wanted to channel his efforts into his freelance career. His part-time freelancing work contributed much to their savings, which were now 12 times their annual expenses. Daniel was 39 and Alexander 37 when I realized they had reached financial independence, but I wanted them to attain financial freedom before they retired, and if possible, financial abundance. So, I encouraged them to invest more and save more. When Daniel was 42, I realized they had attained financial freedom. That year, Daniel and Alexandra went on a vacation to Bermuda, where they had been dreaming for a long time. I never heard from them again. This couple is among the countless people I have helped using the 10 levels of financial independence. Make it your goal to follow the levels and climb up the ladder. I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can receive my future videos. Now, if you want to watch more videos like this, then you need to watch this video right here. This video is one of the best on this channel. You can click on this video to watch further.